Hey everyone, what's going on? And welcome to another episode of Kia's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of my absolute favorite recipes besides oxtail because I don't know what Jamaican don't love oxtail. But here we go, some Jamaican brown stew chicken. So right now I am just getting ready to chop my chicken with my meat cleaver. I tried to show y'all a safer way if you guys are not familiar with using a meat cleaver, but it just wasn't working for me. So I just chop it in half. Be very mindful of your fingers. This comes with practice. Um, if you're uncomfortable with chopping your own chicken, um, if you go to a butcher or you go to the meat market, just look for... If you go to a, a regular like store, look for chicken that's cut up for curry. Um, it will literally say it on the label, especially if you go to a West Indian market. But if not, um, ask your butcher to cut your chicken up for curry or for stew. So we're just chopping this chicken up. And now I'm going to show you guys how I clean and I wash my chicken. So here's some vinegar, some lime juice. Yes, vinegar, lime juice. I told y'all before in the first video we clean our chicken. <laughs> so I'm adding some water. I'm just gonna get everything off. I did clean this chicken ahead of time. I pulled the skin off. I took some fat off. Right now I'm just getting the the, the remaining bits of whatever it is, extra fat, whatever like that. I, uh uh, nope, nope. And then I'm pulling away some of the bone fragments that were created when I chopped the chicken. It's just so no one chokes because I ain't finna see me. Um, so yes, <laughs> when you uh, cut your chicken in half or when you get it from the butcher, just make sure you go through and get some of them fragments out because it is very uh, dangerous to um, ingest, especially if you're feeding younger kids. So just make sure you take them out. I'm just, you know, going through the chicken right now, making sure that everything that I don't want is coming off in that water. And I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like because it's not cute at all. So here's what it looks like. I changed my gloves. I want the water cold. I was, I'm that person. Yes, I'm going to put my hand under the water until it's the temperature that I need it. <laughs> so I'm just rinsing off this chicken with some cold water, getting the rest of the bone fragments of getting whatever that's, I don't know what it is, fat, take it off. Why would you want to eat that? Like, come on now. Really? We're going to take that off. Because that's not cute. It's not cute. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Exactly. Don't play with me. Don't play. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how I clean my sink. Um, I don't believe in not washing your sink. Like, wash your sink after you wash all your dishes, after you have any type of anything in your sink. Because just wash it. It's. You're just supposed to wash it. Like, I don't know what else to tell y'all. <laughs> please just wash it for me, please. So, y'all, I'm going to say thank you all. So I always wash my thing, I don't know what it's called, food catcher, yeah I always wash that, and I'm about to get some all purpose, I found my ratchet, I'm so sorry, I'm going to get some all purpose um, spray made by Lysol, and I'm going to clean my sink, and sanitize my sink, and the hole, I don't know why I did that then. Hey. And now with some steam and hot water, I'm going to rinse out my sink. And then for a final sanitize, I'm going to get some. Yeah, yeah. You want to wait? You want to guess? You want to know? Let me tell you. It's some more Lysol. Okay? <laughs> And 
And here we are, chop, chopping it up, cut, cutting it up, cut it, cut it, cut those vegetables, cut it, cut it. I'm not going to talk about this. You already know what it is. That's why we going through this nice ass. We know how to clean our peppers. We know how to cut our onions, ratchet ass onions. And only thing new is a tomato, but cut it in half, cut it down fours, and boom, boom, there you go. <laughs> I will do a video on knife cuts and knife scales and all that stuff. I just, I want to get, give me some time. I got you. All right, so now obviously it's time to season our chicken. We got some salt, some pepper. What else we got? That's it. Some garlic powder. Some Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. Some ground ginger. Um, you can put fresh ginger in your um curries or your stews I didn't feel like I just bought my ginger and I didn't feel like cutting it and I don't like the strong taste so um, but that was some onion powder that we went in with some paprika that we went in with this is some pick a pepper seasoning yes pick a pepper pick a pepper and some fish and meat seasoning <laughs> that I had to shake it up shake it up um, some fish and meat seasoning and we're gonna go in with some browning not too much browning uh, to your meat because you're gonna make it too bitter when you cook it down so just a little bit a little bit and then we're gonna add in some ketchup why because that's what my Jamaican daddy and mama told me <laughs> so that's what it is and our veggies yes in our curry curry chicken video we didn't add the veggies but we're adding the veggies now to the stew chicken um, because it's gonna help make our sauce and you'll see what I'm talking about later on All right, all right, so now it's time to dry fry our chicken or brown our chicken. But this, our chicken's already brown. Um, this is one way, this is a quick way to make brown stew chicken. I can show you the other way where you have to brown the sugar, I mean, burn the sugar and you use that to cook, uh, to brown your meat. Lord Jesus, why can't I talk to y'all today? <laughs> so this is a quicker way when you use the browning. And we are taking our vegetables off before we put the chicken in the oil because um, we need the, the vegetables to flavor our sauce and because we're frying our chicken and the vegetables are going to add too much moisture okay so this is the moment where I knew I messed up at I overcrowded my pan so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that because you do not want your pan to be overcrowded you see how there's too much moisture from the chicken in the bottom of my pan. It's not browning at all. So what I did is I removed that. I added new oil. And now I just added my chicken in smaller batches. So that's a quick, easy fix. Um, so when you're frying, you don't want to overcrowd your pan because you're going to make your oil cold. And um, if you're not frying with a batter, because we're not frying with a batter, meaning a flour batter, um, it's going to add a lot of moisture to your oil, and that's not what we want at this moment. So I am just frying my chicken um, five to six minutes on each side. We want to cook the chicken about 70 to 80 percent of the way because we're going to finish cooking the chicken down in our sauce. So this is our chicken at the six minute mark where I am going to flip it. And now you see how our chicken has added a little bit more color. Um, being that our pan is not overcrowded, you can see it's starting to brown up nicely. So I'm just going to flip it and uh, cook it for another five to six minutes. And I'm just moving everything around. As you know, we don't want any scorching, any uh, sticking. So just got to be mindful of that. And I'm just going to 
um, repeat this process until all my chicken is browned. I do have a bowl that I'm, as you see right there, that I'm putting my chicken in until it's time to add it back into the pot. So that's what we're going to do, and we'll see you in a few moments. I also did take the chicken that didn't brown correctly um, a few moments earlier. I did take that and I put it aside and now this is the chicken that I'm rebrowning right now. Just because I want all my chicken to have the same color, I want everything to be uniformed and pretty and nice like me. Mm -hmm. So here is the last of our chicken. We are ready to move on to the next step, but you already know I'm going to show you what your chicken is supposed to look like at this point. So you see how our chicken is nice and browned up. It's partially cooked. Please do not go ahead and take a little snacky snack because you will get a little sicky sick and you're not going to blame me. So I want you. So this is how our chicken is supposed to look. Nice and brown and juicy, but it's not cooked yet. So please don't eat it. So here is the remaining oil that's in our pan. We're going to go ahead and take like 95% of that out because I don't want any more oil really um, in the dish. So we're just going to take 95% of that out. We're going to leave a little bit to, so that our vegetables have a little car to drive so that they don't stick. And you see all of that at the bottom. Don't worry about that. Once we add our vegetables, we add a little water to the pan um, as you'll see um, in a little bit. It's all going to come up. So don't worry you won't have a hard night of washing dishes, trust me. So we added our veggies to the pan and you see all that good stuff right there? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a rubber spatula and I'm gonna scrape all of that out. Yup, scrape it out. You want all of that, all of that up in your pan. <laughs> but yes, please get all of it. I'm sorry, I'm such a joke guys, I'm such a joke. But um, our vegetables are here in the pan right now, and I'm going to let this cook for about three, three minutes, three to five minutes, just to give um, the vegetables a little head start. And here we are after three minutes. I forgot to add my green seasoning um, at the beginning when we actually seasoned our chicken, so I just added it to the base, to the vegetable base. To let it cook out and um, it tasted just fine but I recommend that you add it in at the beginning so I just added in a cup and a half of water not too much because we have a lot of liquid from our vegetables that's, that, that's gonna why well, can't I talk to you that's going to come up and as well moisture from the meat moisture from the pickled pepper the brown and all is a lot of moisture so you don't need to add not a lot of water back So we're just getting everybody acclimated and um, introduced in the pan. <laughs> and so I'm just going to stir everything, make sure everything is fully incorporated, make sure that my chicken is getting sub semi-submerged in liquid. You just want to make sure that everything's fully mixed in. And here's what our chicken looks like at this point. It looks good, but it's not done. I'm going to let this chicken cook for about 20 to 25 minutes just until tender. And um, like I said, I don't like shreds in my stews and curries and stuff. But if you do, let it cook a little longer. Add just a half cup more water and you get your little shreds. So here we are. Our chicken is done. Our sauce is nice and rich, nice and thick flavorful no cornstarch no slurry no nothing added this is just pure 
patience. <laughs> it just it takes time. So I'm trying to fan this smoke <laughs> so y'all can see. But our chicken looks good. Okay, so here we are at plating. I am going down with some rice. I realized that I put too much rice. I was like, who's eating all this rice? So I just split this plate between me and my mom because who's eating all that rice? And vegetables. Well, no, the vegetables are good, but. Hmm. Here we are with some still chicken. Hey, girl, look at that. It looks so good. Oh my God. I cannot wait. I mean, I already ate because I'm editing right now, but you know, you know what I mean. It was good. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. Here you have it. Jamaican brown stew chicken, white rice, and some mixed vegetables. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Wagwan people. Everything crisp? All right, Ari. Okay, so thank you for joining another episode of Kia's Kitchen. I hope you guys are ready to slay the kitchen with this Jamaican brown stew chicken recipe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment box below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Everything, as you know, will already be in the description box waiting for you so you can slay, slay, slay. Hey, see you guys later.